Hello, hi, YouTube, Zach here. Uh, this video is one of our series on hyponatremia, and if you haven't seen the intro video yet, it might not make much sense. So uh, why don't you hit that button and check it out first? Or don't, whatever, you're cool, free country. To recap, you've got a patient with hyponatremia, low sodium, a low serum osmolality, suggesting this is a true hyponatremia, but high urine osmolality. Strange, isn't it? You'd expect if the blood is dilute for the urine to be dilute too, right? ADH and aldosterone should both fall, resulting in a diuresis, passage of large volumes of dilute urine with a low osmolality to return the blood to normal. By contrast, if blood osmolality is low and urine osmolality is high, you have dilute blood and concentrated urine. This suggests something a little bit more fishy is going on. We need to investigate further. Now let's take a look at urine sodium. Is it low, or is it normal, or is it high? 